Hello, Kinder families. Mrs. Riney here. Your child is going to bring home their bee binder tonight. And this is something that's going to go back and forth from school to home each day. I'm gonna just give you a brief overview of what is inside so you know what information to look for and how to use our binder efficiently. So on the front, you're gonna see your child's name when you open the binder. This is where papers will go home and also where papers can come back to school. I will check these binders daily, so if you send anything back, if they finish a work or make a picture, you can put it in the binder. Right away, there is a information communication page. So if you have a quick note you wanna jot, a quick question, something you're thinking about, wondering about, um, and you don't wanna forget about it, go ahead and jot it down on here. We'll leave that in the front. You will always see a calendar in the bee binder each month, and it will show what day that we have um, specials, whether we're going to gym or music or art and music or media. And we'll also, for the first month now, be doing a letter of the day each day. And we added some dress up days, so you'll notice like September 15th for letter D, we're gonna wear outfits with dots on them. We have Jersey day for letter J, pajama day for letter P. So you just wanna make sure that you're checking the calendar daily so that your child doesn't miss out on all the fun things we're going to be doing. Then after the calendar comes a class list. Um, if it ever changes, I will update it. Um, it's just split right now in case we go to hybrid. Um, otherwise, all of these kiddos are together um, every day. We have 18 in our class. This is what our A day looks like. You'd come Monday, Wednesday if we're hybrid. This is what B day looks like for Tuesday, Thursday of hybrid. And just know that this is the way it will be just for the first week. But after that, we're all together, okay? Then we have our daily schedule. It shows again at the top the specialist, where we're going and who our teachers are. We have a schedule again, always subject to change, but we like to start our day with morning meeting. We have our language arts block, snack break, wind time, what I need is where we're focusing on small group work and assistants come into our classroom to help with small groups. We'll either do a writer's workshop, social studies, science, or health during this time. Recess is before lunch. After lunch, we do a mindfulness breathing activity. Sometimes we do yoga, just stuff to calm our bodies, and we do a read aloud. Then we have specialists in the afternoon, and we end our day with math. All right, so that's our schedule. And the last thing you're gonna notice in our bee binder is a bee contract. So you and your child are gonna look through it, look at how we're going to, the rules of the binder, and then what we're gonna to do to keep it um, in good condition, and then you guys can both sign off, and this can stay in the binder, all right? Um, I don't check the back binders, so please don't send anything in the back. Um, if there's something you wanna keep in there, that's totally fine, but just make sure you utilize the front of the binder to send um, notes and stuff, projects, whatever, to and from school, and use the communication page. All right, that is how we are going to use our bee binder this year.